Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Cup of Joe. I am your host, Joe. And uh, we just want to kickstart your morning uh, with a little bit of coffee and a little bit of hope. And, uh, oh, we're getting a set. What's going on? Oh, we're sideways. Hang on a second, people. Bear with us while Alexis figures this out. Are we good? You're just gonna hold it like that. Yeah. Okay, well, hey everyone, thanks for um, joining us and my sideways beginnings there. But anyways, we're kickstarting your day with caffeine and hope, and let's start with the caffeine. So today I'm drinking out of my favorite mug, which uh, my wife gave to me years ago, and my kids haven't destroyed it yet, which I'm very thankful for. And uh, we're drinking one of my favorite roasts, which is Cafe Verona from Starbucks. Uh, this also ironically happens to be one of uh, Pastor Alexis's two least favorite roasts, um, but we aren't judging her. Uh, let's give it a, a taste, shall we? First, we'll begin with a sniff. Just allow the aroma to just fill your senses. Now for a sip. Delightful. It's very, very dark very rich, kind of has a chocolatey uh, texture to it. Um, if you wanted to pair it with something, I would say cheesecake is probably your best option. Phenomenal roast. Anyways, Starbucks not paying me to say this, but uh, hey, Starbucks, if you're watching, um, you can send me a check. Hey, before we get on to our uh, daily dose of encouragement, I just wanted to let you know and invite you uh, to our church's uh, online service. So uh, with everything that's going on in the world right now, we're moving our services online. And so we will be streaming our first ever service this Sunday at 10.30 a.m. Uh, you can access that uh, at our website, BethelOnline.ca, and we'll make sure to put the link to our website in the comments below. Uh, we're still getting everything set up, so if you go there right now, uh, you're not going to be able to find the live stream, but we'll have that set up and running on Sunday. So I just wanted to let you know about that, and uh, especially our Bethel family, but for anyone who's tuned in and is watching with me right now or watching throughout the day, we'd love to have you join us for that. I'd love to be with you there. All right, let's move on to uh, some encouragement. You know, this has been a really tense time, to say the least. This has been a time full of anxiety and nervousness. Uh, even, even myself, I've, I've been feeling uh, pretty tense and pretty anxious. And I was really reminded this morning, um, really reminded of the peace that God gives. In the book of Philippians in the Bible, it's a historical letter that was originally written by an early church leader, the Apostle Paul, to the church in Philippi. And he writes to them, encouraging them of the peace that God gives. And I'm going to read it to you out of Philippians chapter 4. It says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. So there's just a couple things that I want to point out there. The first thing that Paul tells us to do is he tells us to pray. Uh, prayer is simply just conversation between you and God. But more than that, prayer is a reminder that God is in control and I am not. It's a reminder that uh, while there are so many things in our lives that are outside of our control, we can rest in God's sovereignty. We can rest in the fact that God is in control. And that he loves us, that he is for us and not against us, that he wants what is best for us. And so when we pray, we come to God and we recognize um, that he has the power and the love uh, to look after us. The second thing is to be thankful. Paul talks about um, being thankful for what God has done for you. And I want to challenge you this morning. I want to challenge you to be thankful um, for, for what God has given you. What do you have to be thankful for this morning? Uh, with, with stores closing down everywhere and people moving into isolation, it can be hard to be thankful. Uh, but one of the things that I'm thankful for is my family. I'm thankful that I've got a roof over my head, right? Uh, it's important when we, when we think about 
things that we can be thankful for, things that God has given us, it, it helps to shift our perspective away from being anxious all the time um, to a place of, of peace and to a place of uh, fresh perspective. So we need to pray. We need to be thankful. And finally, God will protect us. Uh, Paul promises us that when we come to God in prayer and thankfulness, he gives us this supernatural peace that, it, that exceeds anything that we can understand. It's not peace that comes uh, from anything in this world. It's, it's peace that can come from God alone. And he gives us this peace that guards our, our minds so we're not laying in bed uh, or staring at the ceiling worrying at night. He, he gives us this peace that guards our hearts so that way um, as we, as we, our very well-being uh, to, a, to a core of who we are. And in a, a little bit here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray with you that God would give you his perfect peace. But you know what? There are other things that we can do ourselves to help have peace. right? We can, we can eat healthy, you know, fruits and vegetables. Uh, we, can, we can exercise. You can go get outside and go for a walk, get some fresh air. Uh, and you can rest. You know, this is a, a great chance to uh, read a book or to binge watch that Netflix series that you've been uh, dying to see. You know, this is a time to, where we can rejuvenate as well. And so I want to leave you with those things. Pray, think, and God will protect you. Uh, would you just pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, I just pray for everyone who's, who's live with me right now and who's going to be watching this, this video later in the week. I just pray right now that your presence would be with them in a real way. God, that you would give them your peace that exceeds anything that we could ask for, anything that we could understand. I thank you that you are with us always, that you love us, that you are for us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, friends, it's time for one last sip. Well, I'm Joe, and this has been A Cup of Joe.